Yeah, I think the, I think the program went very well, and it um, took a lot of planning in the sense that we had eight presentations, right. which is, uh, and they all were um, well delivered and not redundant, right. which is the, the obvious problem with multiple speakers. Right. And I think the audience reacted very well. Yeah, I do too. And had good questions. Yeah. And I think it, it portrayed uh, accurately where self-consolidating concrete is today and where it should be, could be, and has been used by, uh, mm -hmm. by the per various presenters. Yeah. yeah. I thought a lot of the, there was a lot of interesting discussion about the, the, the problems and the communication, the need for communication, I guess. Oh, yeah. Is, well, and I, I, I think, biggest. Bill, that, all, that applies to uh, all high-performance concrete, the hard, okay. big umbrella, in that planning is so critical. Like, what are yeah. we planning to do? How are we going to do it? What are the con possible problems, and what are our solutions? As opposed to it, when it happens, suddenly saying, what do you think, Harry? Mm. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, I thought, and, that, I think, and I think, any of that high-performance uh, type of concrete that applies, and with SEC, certainly. Yeah, I think you made a good point that even with SEC, you have to even plan farther out. Yeah. That you have to have your meetings sooner. Yeah, and that applies across the spectrum to high performance in the sense, if you do a mock-up, oftentimes you have to do a second. Right. And you can't be doing a mock-up on Thursday, Friday with the uh, first placement on Monday. Yeah. So right. Because they have no opportunity yeah. to make a change, right? Right, right. So, you know, right. Doesn't work. So are you see, are we seeing it increase in usage? Yeah, I think the everybody now, all of the members of the concrete community, I think recognize you got to have a pre-concrete conference, you got to have a, a proper detailed agenda, okay. and you have to have accurate minutes okay. for reference later on. Right. And you have to have enough time to do the second mock-up yeah. if it's required. Okay. And you can't do that on Thursday with the first placement on Monday kind of deal. So right. it's moving everything back a bit so there's some time for any uh, missteps or second mock-ups okay. required, you know? Okay. I, 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 did, I thought one thing, I, somebody was talking about um, the, where you wouldn't use SCC, yeah. which I thought was in good, but sure. I mean, why yeah. you might not because... Yeah, you wouldn't you have, put it on a ramp. Right. Parking deck ramp. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't make sense, yeah. That wouldn't work out yeah. real well. Yeah. Uh, and I suppose in a, if you can back the truck up to the f uh, f uh, footing or something like yeah. that and you shoot it in, you're probably not too concerned. But I think more and more people are going to suddenly say, with the labor shortage right. and the skilled labor shortage, hey, if I could run that concrete in the wall 50 feet both ways yeah. with yeah. a minimal crew, right. And I think Tony Martin's presentation from the contractor's perspective on the, mm. the difference in labor, right. come winding up with an, an economy overall right. for his having used self-consolidating concrete. Mm. Do you see the, um, the producers getting better with it? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. And again, that's a, fu a function of usage when they suddenly see, sure. you know, what's a stable mix with their materials and <clears throat> how much VMA, viscosity modifying admixture you need to give yourself some cushion. Right. Because the aggregate gradation is gonna change on a daily basis because the quarry really doesn't care. Yeah. yeah. Oh. They're, gonna, they're gonna ship what they have. Yeah. You know? So you gotta have robustness in the mix. So in the, like on a, I, most larger FCC jobs, would the producer have somebody on site? To yeah, make? probably. Do they? Yeah. Yep. They would have somebody on site. They would have done this, the uh, the mock up and given the range, the spread range that they they yeah. and the contractor have decided is appropriate. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, and then as always, you've got to check with the the testing procedure in terms of what what are you going to test, right. who's going to test it, and the, the uh, certainly cylinders are handled pro made properly, handled properly, mm. etc. That kind of yeah. Thing. I heard one of the guys said that he does a, a spread on every truck. As soon as it arrives. And, and well, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Most people won't because uh, they'll, uh, uh, well, certain instances, I can think of two jobs. The one uh, at uh, Michigan State University, the Art Museum, mm. Zaha Hadid, the well-known architect, said no bug holes. No. 
So they found that they had to do every truck a 28 inch spread. Oh. That was their solution. Yeah. And that also applied at the World, uh, World Trade Center on the new three foot thick mat under the number one subway line. Oh. They had okay. to do it blind, hmm. heavily reinforced. So they, the thought was obvious. If it ever hangs up under here, oh. we are dead. Right. We have no, you know. Yeah. So they did everything 28 there as well. Mm. So you mm. have those situations where you say, we got to really hit the number. Yeah, I think Tony be... Martin showed some of those where the forms were angled at the oh, top yeah. and closed yeah, off so yeah. you, with the, some of those complicated blockouts that looked yeah. pretty tough to get concrete underneath. Yeah, that's right. And uh, uh, like, uh, so if you have a chance and if you're doing floor to floor, it's nice to pump from the bottom. Yeah, okay. You know, you're going to get nicer, uh, nicer appearance, nicer consolidation. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't always do that. But uh, I think we illustrated, uh, well, the central garage, the award winning job for innovation, right. where mm -hmm. Baker said, instead of three pores high, right. 37 feet, how about SEC for one? Yeah and yeah. talked to the form uh, supplier and got the okay on the pressure, et cetera. Yeah. So, that's, the, and that's a big, uh, big item to do the whole wall at one time, yeah. as opposed to right. joint lines and, you Saves know, a lot of time and effort. Forming, and, yeah. yeah, it makes it look better. Oh, it's yeah. Well, much yeah. better looking job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So would the, would the producer typically have, I don't know, some extra high range and some VMA on the, on the job site? Oh, to, excellent, excellent point. You always want extra high range on site. You always want to have supplied them, the contractor uh, with a, uh, uh, from the producer, a redosage chart. Oh. In other okay. words, if you got hung up in traffic and were half an hour later, right. and now your slump flow was agreed to be 24 to 28, let's say, yeah. and he comes in, he's 22. Hmm. Say, well, we got, we can, it's a chart. I see. So we can raise it right add. back up. Okay. And I would also, yeah. Uh, recommend that they have v uh, viscosity modifying admixture on site for that mix. It looks like it's wanting to segregate. Yeah, it's very close to, you know, mm. segregation. So you can the VMA will restore it, give I it see. robustness. Yeah, those are the things that um, you want to be able to answer the what ifs. Right, that makes and sense. that's yell and scream, which mm. won't ha won't solve yeah. the problem. Yeah. Well, do you think you'll do this again next year? Is it? Is well, still a... uh, there's still uh, probably because we're on the ascendancy on SCC, yeah. Yeah. so more and more people are using it. So we probably would say, do SCC today. I would okay. think if if uh, everybody involved in the show wants to do it, you know, yeah. okay. here's where we are today. Okay. We had a number of award-winning jobs, as you yeah. recall, there, yes. plus the jobs in previous years. So you know, but I think that's gonna. Yeah. I relate the the SCC to automatic transmission mm. in the car. Uh -huh. Most people want an automatic transmission. Right. So, and now with more and more people being aware of the white finger law that's been right. in Europe, certainly it's in New York State. Yeah. And so any of the uh, designers, contractors who think about it say, do I want to force somebody to engage in an activity with vibrating by vibrating concrete, when I mm. already know New York State has a white finger law right. that that's damaging their hands and arms. Mm. When my I could do SCC and not Eliminate hurt that. the person. Right. Yeah. So that uh, that helps a lot. Yeah, I thought um, Kamal had a good point that I think that uh, I've, I have a question I had asked people before is, do you ever vibrate SCC? And I think his answer was no. Yeah. Basically. But some, some people do. I think the Tower One with a six foot thick uh, lower floors, heavily reinforced, they had SEC and they did external vibration. They just said, we have oh. so much steel in there, we want to be sure. Yeah. And that was yeah. early in the early uh, stages of SEC here. Okay. Yeah. But that's yeah. Yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, but it was heavily reinforced. But normally you wouldn't have to. Did we make the. 15% by 2015? Oh, I, I don't think so. Not I'd quite. like to say so, but, no. uh, but it's certainly on this curve. Yeah. Yeah, it really, because um, I said recently in New York from the uh, CIB meeting at the New York AC, said, you know, in a radius of 200 yards, 
There's three towers, 14,000 PSI, all SEC. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty, all the high strength stuff today is SEC. Really is it? has to be, it's heavily yeah. reinforced. And you, right. you, right. you got to get every bit of strength you can get out of that mix. Okay. Yeah.